Hey there everyone, it's Q7 Gaming. I just want to give my honest review for that. Uh, I just want to say it was pretty okay. Though there were some bugs that I didn't find from it when I, when I played that through. Your soul moves a bit slower than you originally intended if someone was attacked. For example, the white bones that go from side to side were much too slow to move across that. The bones came up way too fast. You would have died there no matter what. It doesn't look like it's going to be completely possible to do, even with the checkpoint. Now, it was pretty difficult, I gotta say. But the idea was a bit off. In Distrust, he plays Underscore Six. He doesn't have 1 HP on Underscore so he shouldn't have more than one HP. And that's the problem I have with this kind of, uh, that kind of type of fan game. He has more than one HP. So this forced no hit was kind of difficult. And the one HP from kind of like five and a half minutes was kind of annoying. But, honestly, I gotta say, that you were pretty slow, can't move as fast, so it's very difficult to move around and to be able to function and play. But, either way, it was good. The designs were good, the attacks looked really amazing. It looked fantastic. Music was good as well. Honestly, very good game. If the attacks were slightly better and you can move faster and give the attacks a bit more nerf, honestly, it would be fully playable. I've played all three of the Papyrus encounters that have come out. And I've cleared two out of three, basically, except for this. If you can make the, make the attacks a bit more easier, nerf it, or increase the amount of HP you have, so that we can have, like, what? If you do, like, they'll do one damage, you can have, like, 10 HP. It's possibly playable, possibly beatable. And then nerf the attacks. That's all I would say. But, other than that, you did really well. And I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Happy Happy, for making such an amazing game. This is Q7 Gaming, signing off.